Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Amazon Web Service called Cognito. And in this video I want to show how you can log in by the username and password with the Cognito. And then I will show how you can see the access token and the refresh token. The access token is the token you use when you need to access to the user. And then we have the refresh token. That's meaning if you need a new access token because um, uh, the old one is expired or something like that. And then I will show how you can get out the, the user data by using the, the access token. So that's what we're going to speak about today. I really hope you enjoy the full video. And don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel by click on down on the thing below in the right corner of the video. And don't uh, hold back by using the comments field to ask questions. Thank you so much and let's start to code. The first thing we're gonna do now should be a response for, for the cli client. And then we have the client and we need to set up the authentication here. And what we're gonna do after we have the authentication, that's just uh, print out the response code. We need the client ID and authentication flow. The client here. OS get env. And then we need the authentication flow. Should be user password authentication. And for that, we need the authentication parameters. This should be username. And then we need the password. For the user. And up here, I'll just add the username. And my password would be here for the test user, and that should be what we need. That and it exactly what we have, and we are logged in now. And we have the response metadata. If you're scrolling a little bit up, I hope you can see that the refresh token here. That's what we're gonna do. We will take this out, and the token type is a is a beer. And then we have the access token here, you can see on the screen. And we're going inside this one. So let's copy this one and print it out. Response. Going inside. And, and we need the access token. And I need the refresh token down below here. So and I will comment this out for now. I will run it again. And then we have the Let me just see up here again. And then refresh token and this token I'll go down. We need to copy this token. And then we just going inside to the get user because now we have what we want and then we say access token is equal to this one. So your access token will of course be a different one than my will be. I will just copy this one and uh, get the user and then we're going up here to load in v so we can get the right data and the only thing we need back now would be to to get the response client get user and we only need the 
access token because that's what we're gonna do now and let's see what what's going on here and let's print it out and you can see we have a lot of data here we have the user uh, attributes and we get the data out so what I'm gonna do now I'll try to, to take out the the sub here and print it out for the user sub so you can when you're logged in you can see which user that basically is logged in when you return the data that, that's what we're gonna do now with a very simple loop so just see attribute sub is equal to none and then for attribute here in response user attributes and if the attribute name equal to sub then it's the value and you want to break it and print out the attribute sub down below whoops down here let's try it again and one error up and see what happening and now we can see we're locked in with this user and everything based on the data we get for the access token here then we can see we have the right user so that's all for me right now I really hope you enjoy and you know how you can make the login uh, authentication from the uh, Cognito right now and how you can get data out from the user. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Before we are leaving, I really hope you want to subscribe to the channel by going in the right corner below and press the thing. Don't forget to like and share this video and if you have any questions, please make the comments below. And remember, all the code will be found on my GitHub. The link for my GitHub will be in the in the description below. Thank you and hope to see you next time. Bye.